Well, hi everyone, Euromax here. I'm uh, here to review a pistol. This is the first time I'm reviewing a firearm of any sort, but uh, I felt fairly strongly about this one, so I'd like to give you a couple pointers in what I think about it. The pistol in question is uh, Taurus model 24-7, uh, chambered in 45 ACP, and it's their G2C spec which is a double action single action model. Uh, let's zoom in on the gun to see what comes in the box. Well here's a pistol in question. Uh, what we have here is a pistol itself. We have a magazine, a 10 round mag. We have an additional 12 round magazine with an extension. So the 10 round is uh, the shorter one, flush fit, and then 12 round has, a, has an extension. We also have a Taurus attempt of a speed loader, which I haven't tested because I have my own uh, uploader. Also there are some uh, wrenches, a cleaning brush, and user manual and a warranty card. Okay. We're going to move on to the pistol itself. Let's first double check. Yep, it's empty. I can visualize that it's empty. I have no ammo anywhere near me, which is always a good thing to do. So some of the features of this pistol. Um, all the controls are ambidextrous, which sounds great. Uh, we have safety, which also serves as a decocker. We have our mag release, our slide release, and uh, this assembly lever. Another nice feature on there is a loaded chamber indicator. We also have a, a cocked indicator. There is a adjustable there's an adjustable sight. The sights are actually, I have to say, sights are really nice. They're uh, low profile. Uh, I, this gun was, uh, looks like it was designed with the concealed carry in mind. It's a three and a half inch barrel. Uh, short mag, like I said, fits flush. It's really nice. That's how it fits in my hand. I don't have a really small hand, so you can see that you could have used a little more real estate, but for concealed carry, I think that's that's okay. Um, it has fairly decent feel to it. It's a little chunky. Um, it's blocky. To me, it looks like they took a <laughs> they took a Glock frame and tried to fit it with the, some features and slides. So um, the review I read said that this is the pinnacle what Taurus has learned about pistols. Well, if this is the pinnacle, then I have no idea what the heck they'll learn. But that's okay. Let's, uh, let's continue. First thing I would like to point out is um, the mag release. It is uh, ambidextrous also, but the position of the mag release itself is when you have regular grip. You can see that my middle finger is mostly covering that mag release. You'll say, well, what's the problem? You're not going to release it with that hand. Well, that's fine. But if I flip it over, and if I want to release it, see, I'm pushing on it, I cannot, because my finger is blocking it. So in order to do any kind of release, mag release, you would have to shift the gun in your hand, get your fingers out of the way, right there. So I have to get my fingers out of my way, and release it. That doesn't seem like a big deal, but for a concealed carry um, pistol, that is a big deal. All you want to do is fire your last round, quickly release it, which I cannot if I'm firmly holding it. There's no way I'm pushing as hard as I can, I cannot. So you have to readjust and you have to do that. Not ergonomic at all. So that's probably my biggest problem I have with ergonomics and design of a gun. Next are other controls. They actually kind of 
as you can see they're shaved they're low profile I like it I don't I don't see anything wrong with it I've tried it I took it to a range and I've tried all these controls they work fine except the mag release which to me is probably the most important the trigger <laughs> the trigger is straight out of Glock book it is not sophisticated at all but it works every time I pull the trigger the gun went off so that's a good thing uh, double action single action I didn't notice much difference I don't shoot double action single action a lot um, I have to say that I'm used to my 1911s and my Springfields uh, but it, it, it is it is not as good as Springfield even the XDs I think their XDs are much much better than this I guess that's what I'm basing my comparison on. I won't even compare it to 1911. Uh, the, the cocked indicator is really nice. A little red indicator will pop right up. I'll try to engage it in a second. So you can see. So what happens is you would fire first round, you'll re engage. When you release, that's what happens, you can see the red dot. Really nice. But that's where it stops. <laughs> I have fired 100 rounds through it. I have had about 15 to 20 percent failure to feed. Where the failure occurs is the slide will stay like this. About three millimeters it will not go all the way in. It'll stay like that and with a gentle pressure it'll finally close. I have uh, taken the gun home now I'm gonna clean it thoroughly actually I have cleaned it thoroughly and I'm gonna take it to the range again and I'm gonna try it. I've tried adjusting the sights they seem to work fine uh, I can adjust it to my liking but again biggest complaint mag release and the failure to feed or failure to completely close the slide it stays like there. You can almost feel it. See, that's the catch. Very disappointed with this weapon. I'm gonna give it another try. I'm gonna give it another hundred rounds and if it doesn't work, well, it doesn't work. Another thing is the extended mag works just fine. Gives it a, actually is even longer grip than, than you need, but it's okay for your backup mag, but again, you have to adjust. Right. Well, so much for Taurus. Um, like I said, I'll give it another chance, and if it doesn't work, then it doesn't work. <laughs>